All right, welcome back to another quick tip for Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how to create lightning if there is none. So I'm just working on this image right now and I want to have some lightning coming from the top and hitting this antenna right here. It's pretty simple and straightforward, so let's just jump right into it. Words. Okay, so let's create a new layer by hitting the new layer symbol down here. All right, and you'll see you have a new layer. Then hit G on your keyboard to get your gradient tool or just select it on the left right here and make sure you have black to white selected. Okay. Once you have done that, just drag from the left to the right or from the right to the left. That is completely up to you. And that doesn't look like lightning, so let's go to Filter and down to Render and Difference Clouds. That creates that. And now, still doesn't look like lightning, so let's hit Command and I on the keyboard, which will actually invert that. And once that's inverted, you can see, okay, yeah, maybe there are some lightning shapes in there. So let's make them a little bit more visible. And what you want to do is you hit your Levels uh, adjustment right here and clip it to the layer, okay? So now this adjustment layer has a little arrow pointing down onto our, our well, future lightnings, I guess. And uh, that means that this adjustment is just for that layer, okay? Good, once we have that, we're gonna drag that slider here from the left all the way up to the right. And how far you drag it, that's completely up to you. I'm just gonna leave it to something like that. Once I have done that, with this one selected, with the adjustment layer selected, I'm going to hold shift and select our normal, our lightning layer as well. And I'm going to go right click and say merge layers. And once I have done that, I'm going to go from normal blending mode down to screen. And what screen does, it's just going to hide everything which is black. Okay, so we just have the whites left. And the whites are obviously our lightning. And I'm going to hit V. You can move that around a little bit if you prefer or if you need to. And uh, as you probably have guessed, we're going to have to puzzle our lightning together with what we have here. All right, so let's do that. Um, first, I'm going to hit L on my keyboard, that's, that brings up my lasso tool. And then I'm going to select a piece of lightning which I like, and I kind of like... Yeah, what do we like? Do we like that? I guess we like that. Every time you're doing the Difference Clouds um, filter, it's going to look different. So if you're not happy with the kind of lightning you get in the first instance, just do it again. Once you have selected a part, at least that's what I'm doing, I'm going to hit Command and J, which is bringing that selection I have just made onto a new layer. So you see we have a new layer down here, and there's a little black spot up here. That is our new that is our new piece of lightning. <laughs> okay, so hit V on your keyboard, which brings up your move tool. V for move, or maybe V for vector. And uh, then you can drag and drop that around wherever you need to have it. Okay, so I'm just going to hit... Uh, maybe something like that doesn't look too bad. And let's zoom in an incredible amount to something like this. And you can always use your arrow keys if you're not 100% satisfied. Then hit enter once you're happy with the movement. And then I'm going to hit E, which brings up my eraser tool. I'm just going to erase parts of it which I don't like. Okay, something like that. And you can always, with the eraser tool, um, get rid of some of the fuzziness around your lightning if you're not completely happy. All right. That obviously requires some more time. And I'm just going to show you quickly that it's possible. But I'm not going to spend too much time on it right now. Now let's go take another part. Um, let's go back to our normal lightning layer and select, for example... I don't know. What else do we like? We like maybe this? I guess we like that. I like it. And <laughs> we're going to hit Command and J, which brings it on a new layer. I'm going to hit V, and we can drag it as well over to other other piece of lightning. Good. Looking good. Where do we put it? Do we put it maybe here? That may not be bad. I'm just making the lab right now. Maybe you want to have an image open of an actual lightning, right? Uh, by the way, Command and H on the keyboard is going to hide your selection and you can see better what you're actually doing, okay? That may help some people. Yeah, maybe maybe here is not bad. Why not? Might as well put it in here. Good. Once we have done that, again, we can hit E, which brings up our, our, um, our radiator. Yes, no, our eraser. And you can get rid of pieces you don't like. Yeah, do something like that, maybe. Okay. And maybe I'll do that as well. Good. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. What you can do as well, you can just hit 1 on your keyboard, which brings down the opacity of your eraser to 10%, and just go over it a couple of times, because probably you, whenever you have seen a real lightning, it's not all visible, not all pieces of the lightning are visible at the same time, so just try to keep it as realistic as you can. Good, and that's all you have to do to create a lightning in Photoshop. There you go. And once you have pieced together your lightning in any way you want, even though that looks a bit dodgy right here, but, you know, it's just for demonstration purposes. You can just hide your original lightning layer where, where you made your selections from, and you have just left the bits and pieces you have puzzled together, which you then can group and work on them. I always recommend to try to get in some color from the atmosphere you're actually working in. 
For example, if you're working in a night image and you want to create some lightning at night, make sure that the lightning has actually some blue in it. And uh, if I'm working here, which I'm doing right now, then I want to make sure that some of this sand color or whatever it is, is in the lightning as well, as the lightning has to actually cross the, the atmosphere. And that is all there is to create lightning in Photoshop. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!